What's up, YouTube family? I am so glad you're here. Welcome to the Project Home Show. I'm your host, Cornelio Austin. I'm so excited to present this next series. I'm sitting here in my kid's bedroom, the best room in the house. Um, during 2020, I built everything you see framed in the picture, also the desk that I'm sitting at, the bed, the locker, wardrobe, storage, the bookshelf, slash storage up top and toy storage at the bottom. It's a built-in unit. All this stuff I did for the first time and I'm so glad to share it with you guys so you can let me know what you think. Now, this video series will be probably in four parts so that I don't wanna hold you for an hour, but I do wanna hold you for at least 25 minutes um, to check out my builds um, and my stories behind it. So we're gonna have a great time, okay? So let's get right into it. Uh, and we're gonna start this episode with the ultimate bunk bed palace. That's what I like to call it. Uh, it's incredible. So let's get into it. All right, so here we go, guys. So Plank and Pillow is the company that I bought this premium DIY bed plan from. Uh, there were a lot of materials listed um, that I went to quite a few uh, lumber stores around um, and so a lot of the materials listed in the plan I had to do a variation of. Uh, most of it I was able to get from Lowe's or Home Depot, either one. Um, so, but I did modify the design so I didn't need some of the things. We had framing lumber, a lot of prime board, shiplap. Uh, white oak uh, was a wood that they suggested. Uh, a lot of it I just did with two by fours and some two by six according to the plan. Your tools, a miter saw, angle nail finisher, I didn't have that. Um, a jigsaw, uh, impact driver, measuring tape, level stud finder, etc. I have most of all the tools. So here you see I'm putting together the step two, this is uh, actually, sorry, step one. This is just putting together the, uh, the bed frame, which will be the basis of how you build on both sides. And so um, this was fairly easy, it was fun. Um, it's similar to framing a wall, but you're just framing a bed. Um, but also let me uh, digress. So. If you want to make this, uh, it's fairly expensive. Even though I went a cheaper route on my lumber, this is still an expensive bed. And I, I would say for me to even do this, um, a custom bed like this for someone else, uh, the materials by themselves, um, the quote that I got from uh, a lumber place that Basically, I was gonna have them cut, mill the lumber for me. And that's why you see me mill it myself because it was it was expensive. So um, the quote just for materials and to mill the lumber for me was 2,400 bucks. So you have to be prepared, all right? Um, so I, I would say that this bed uh, with material and labor should cost you probably five to 10,000 bucks depending on who is building it okay and me uh, this was my first time doing it so um, yeah <laughs> I wouldn't know how to price it but I just know what the materials cost and it's a beautiful bed so anyway I got the kids here we're gonna lay out the tape so that we know exactly what's going on where we want to place the bed on that wall um, and so we lay out our tape lay out our measurements um, and get it right. I got my helper with me, my baby girl Brooke. Uh, Nicholas was in that last frame just coming in. He just kind of hangs out here and there, but Brooke likes to help here and there. So we're having a lot of fun. Um, as you can see, also noting their room, <laughs> I made a terrible design choice before using kind of like a shiplap wall conceptually. I was trying to go for this barn look, but it kind of uh, yeah, it wasn't good. Um, so I knew that that design was temporary. As you can see, I got all these colors going on on the wall. I got blue up top to try to emulate the sky. It was really, really bad. 
Uh, but that's cool because you can always make it better, right? Um, and a DIY dad myself, I'm going to do that. So we just laid out uh, where the studs are. Um, and then we're putting up the first pieces of our bed frame to uh, start building it in. This was fun. Right, guys, so I got the bed frame in. It's all tacked in to the ceiling, to the studs, bottom frame. I gotta get a few more pieces done um, for tomorrow, and then I'll be ready to test the mattresses and make sure that they slip in perfectly. Yeah, but this is a long day work. Most DIY folks will work all the way until past sunset, so make sure you repair your body, take a shower, use honey scrub, um, when you're done that's what i do all right i'll put a link down in just the description for honey scrub exfoliant body scrub moisturizer is perfect at the end of a long and tiresome diy day so until next time all right guys after some much needed rest we are ripping down some prime board this is where we will start to see the project come together. Prime board is a great material. We're basically using this to uh, cover up our lumber framing to give it that nice expensive look at the end. Um, yeah, it was great. This product looks really good um, on the beds. Hmm, back to the hardware store we go. When you're busting out DIY projects, the materials list is so important. The only thing in the bed, they didn't specify which hangers in the material list, um, which they used hidden hangers, and I'm not sure if they have them at Lowe's or Home Depot, but I'm about to scour and see what I can use. Also, the variation of using two by six in the middle section for the top bed, I still will have to use two by six hangers to go over the top of the wood for it to land where I want it, for the mattress to kind of be sunk down into the wood. So happy trails to the hardware store. All right, you guys, I'm back from the hardware store. So here I am hanging the joist for the top bunk mattress. And here I'm making a modification instead of using 2x6 as the joist, I'm using my 2x4 so that the, the bed can actually recess within the 2x6 outer framing. Just to make it kind of, you know, a little less high for my daughter to climb in at night. What's up, people? So. Yesterday was a slower day because I needed to modify the design. There's certain things we need to consider, like doing DIY projects, you typically have Home Depot and Lowe's, so if things aren't available at either one. So this design usually calls for a tongue and groove pine, and I called around, nobody had it, so I have um, the concept I'm gonna do with the board and batten type wood slat design that's always still quick and beautiful so also here uh, let's adjust that camera angle uh, boom for the top bunk the design doesn't really call for um, another window up top but since this is facing the door of the bedroom I didn't want you to just have to walk in and see a big structure so uh, bottom bunk will have a window top bunk will have a window uh, versus the storage shelves that are in the bunk design so these couple of things I had to think out last night and took extra time to get right and also my prime board I'll be putting that in today just did a few calculations wrong where um, I should have still bought the material list 
as it was listed because I thought I needed to modify it based on using two by four, but it doesn't change some. It only changed some of the cuts, not all of the cuts. Some of the cuts still say the same. So needless to say, another trip to the hardware store. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so the next day we are working on the board and batten spacing for the variation of design. I modified the plan because of the material not being available. So this served as a great modification. It looked wonderful. It kept the integrity of the design, the beauty and the elegance of the concept. So um, I was very happy the way that this turned out. We're just popping in our spaces, making sure that they're level. And if you're still watching around this time, uh, then kudos to you. Leave me a comment and say, I'm still watching. Uh, I appreciate everybody. It helps with the algorithm. So, um, and if you haven't thus far liked or subscribed, please do so. It will help the channel uh, move along. So here you can see placing the prime boards in place to give it that good finish. This project was super exciting uh, and tiring <laughs> uh, at the same time. So I'm kind of skipping ahead here. This is after I installed the lighting track uh, using the recess trim. And here we are, my baby girl helper. She's doing a little puttying in spaces for finished nails and stuff. And knocking down some caulking. As you can see, the bed is coming together. So I wanted to make sure that I did my best job on finishing this project. I wanted it to be as close to perfect as possible, even with the imperfections. I watch a lot of guys on YouTube, a lot of ladies who do uh, wonderful work and you can see that they're very patient. And that's what I needed to learn with myself, even though I was tired, even though I was pressured because the kids were in the living room <laughs> sleeping. Um, I just I wanted to do the best job that I could, you know, to showcase my work for for one and that, you know, one day that this house may be listed on Airbnb. You never know. So, um, of course, my baby girl was helping me paint uh, painting. Of course, we don't have to show the whole process. But as you can see, some of these imperfections, if I build this project again, I would do uh a little tighter work but at this time uh, i was tired and ready to move so here i am installing the bed railing using a nice premium wood i believe this is a red oak um, which is a little more costly but again i cut corners by using two by fours to build most of it versus two by six and we know the cost of lumber um, is up and you know it is what it is i think building uh, is never going to stop so we just have to deal with that right now so also here i wanted to put uh, an extra railing in this window although my daughter is nine and i don't perceive that she would fall out but my son he likes to go up there and play with her his mattress is below so uh, we did that as, the, as a safety measure for sure wanted to keep them safe and any friends that come over and want to hang out up there it's just a safe place to be with uh, some railing in place So today I'm basically going to be completing the bottom bunk area, which I waited, of course, to complete before I put the plywood in. So this should be fun uh, and quick. The bottom area is very quick and easy. I just need to tie in uh, the framing for the mattress and then the small storage unit that'll be right in the front of that mattress. So this should be fun and I'm ready to get to it, so. 
All right, so I'm cutting down my two by six. This bed plan accommodates a full-size mattress at the bottom, but I know the kid's previous bunk bed was two uh, twin beds. So I said, I'll keep the twin beds and then add storage for my son because we were getting rid of his dresser. And so this really worked out well because getting rid of his dresser, I added basically three spots for um, drawers down below and also what you don't see here is the stair storage that I built as well so we were able to eliminate his entire dresser um, and build spaces to accommodate his storage in this bed and also their wardrobe that I built with the locker system that also has places for him to hang some items so this was fun um, and in this video you won't see me putting this portion together we're skipping ahead here to um, this particular plywood piece is for the top layment and the underlayment for the mattresses so um, just cutting that down the side so we can get it in there this is where I was kind of pushing along uh, and then uh, here we are hanging this beautiful bleached uh, barn wood that they had at Lowe's I said hey I can use that um, because this was where the tongue and groove was supposed to go up top and I said well let me just use this it's fairly simple uh, I love the color of it just leave it raw uh, it was a little harder to work with than I thought because uh, my finish nailer was kind of breaking through it and of course you know I was using glue but also just to keep it up there I wanted to use my finish nail but it was a little too powerful uh, but it worked out you know it's not perfect but again this particular wood is not supposed to be perfect it's just the style of it all so here we are this is how it all turned out guys stair storage at the bottom i used a leather handle so that the kids can just pull and it's easier you can sit there and on the stair storage as well we have those handles so i love that design i got that from etsy i'll leave a link below at the bottom uh, everything came out beautiful so you can see a sneak peek at some of those other items that we're uh, going to show in the next episode.